and welcome to part two of episode four of the fossil cabinet fossils from Hearn Bay and in this drawer here we've got a collection of fossils from the Thanet formation so these were found close to the Reculver towers and the first one I'd like to show you is this fossilized shark's tooth of an Atodus obliquus. This was actually the first Atodus tooth that I ever found. Quite quite a big one, but uh, they get bigger than that. Another is this fish tooth palette. This is from Agatonia. Really, really rare. Another is this partial crocodile scoot. The way you tell crocodile scoot bones from turtle bones is that crocodile scoot bones have dimples, whereas turtle bones, if because they can look kind of similar, they will have pimples on. There's a turtle species called Trionyx, which can be found in the same area. Another nice fossil is this fossil bird bone. So although all of the dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago, all the big ones at least, small groups of fossilized birds survived and you can tell this is a bird bone because it's very hollow all the way through. Next we've got a drawer of fossils from the Beltinge fish bed. Not as many in here, most of the fossils from there are fossilised shark's teeth. So you have some fantastic specimens of Atodus obliquus from, from this bed. And also something we call Philodus, which is Philodus tuliopicus. These are the teeth from a sea wrasse. Another and you can also get crocodile teeth. There's a crocodile tooth. And in this top drawer, this is my favourite drawer. These are fossils from the Old Haven formation. And amongst my favourites are the occasional fossils of birds that you'll find. I'm just going to get this one out of its bag. Should have done that a minute ago, really. Okay. So, here we go. This is the proximal end, that's the shoulder end of a bird humerus. And as you can see there, it's, it's hollow. go to the Seaside Museum in Herne Bay you can see another bird bone which is actually the distal end of a bird humerus on display there. Anyway, in the Old Haven you also find lots of turtle bones. This is a piece of turtle's plastron. We'll get some really, really nicely preserved complete bones from things like turtles. I think this is a turtle carpal or sarsal. You'll also find occasional fossilized plants and here's a little cone. I believe it's a cone from a from a from a conifer of some sort.
the fantastic thing about the fossilised teeth from the Old Haven formation is, is the colour. They are beautiful shades of blue, turquoise. Really, really nice. And the, the teeth from, from this layer are, are often complete. They're much, much more com com complete than uh, most of the other layers at Beltinge. Also a number of fish jaws from the Old Haven formation. Yet to be identified in full. And, uh, one of the more unusual finds is this fossilized snake vertebra. It's probably from a sea snake. Next, we're going to have a quick look at some of the more recent animals that lived in Herne Bay. These come from the Pleistocene. So, this is the antler from a fallow deer, I believe. And these are found close to the town on the foreshore, near where the old pier is. And this deer antler comes from a red deer. I also have this very large spinal process from a vertebra. I don't actually know which animal this came from, Obviously something very big, if anybody's got any ideas, or knows what it came from, do let me know. We have found bones of very large beasts, including elephant, and teeth from what we call a straight tusk elephant, and this is, this is one of those. The, this is the upper molar from a straight tusk elephant, which is an animal that looked a bit like this. So different, the difference between these and the mammoth is the, the tusks were not strongly curved. They, they only curved a, a small amount compared to mammoth tusks and the teeth are uh, different as well. So I, I hope that gives you an idea of the fossils you can find in Herden Bay and if you want to see more, check out the museum. <laughs>